We've been talking a lot about COVID-19 vaccines, but what about the treatments for a COVID-19 infection? Right now, there are four main treatments. First off, the FDA is set to authorize two antiviral pills from Pfizer and Merck. Pfizer's pill had nearly 90% efficacy in preventing hospitalization and death in high-risk patients. Merck's trial showed its antiviral reduced hospitalization and death in high-risk patients by 30%. Both of those pills have to be taken twice a day for five days after symptoms start. Now, they're still not authorized yet, and even when they are, it could still take months before either of those pills is widely available. Monoclonal antibodies are used in high-risk COVID-19 patients as well. Your body already generates antibodies to fight infections. Because COVID-19 is a brand new virus though, researchers make antibodies in a lab that are programmed to stifle COVID-19's ability to reproduce and spread, and then those are administered using an infusion in a therapeutic center. Now in Texas, you must get a referral for monoclonal antibodies antibody treatment that comes from your doctor, and then you go to one of more than 470 therapeutics centers statewide. The next treatment is a drug called remdesivir. That's an antiviral already approved by the FDA. It works by stopping the virus from spreading in your body. Remdesivir, though, is only given to patients ages 12 and older who have been admitted to the hospital. Finally, the FDA has also authorized the use of convalescent plasma to fight COVID-19. In this one, people who've recovered from COVID-19 infections donate their blood. That then gets processed to remove blood cells, leaving behind plasma that is rich in antibodies to help someone else fight the virus. And that is a quick look at COVID-19 treatment options. I'm Jason Wheeler.